What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Mr. Golden Sports, bringing you yet another online ranked match. As always, we are playing with the Detroit Lions, and we're going against the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, as you guys know, the Lions, they have somebody named Megatron who can be pretty good at times. They've got uh, Javid Best, who can be pretty decent, and Matthew Starry can. But who am I kidding? This offense is great. You know, you have such a stud, and... Um, and Megatron also best being such a speedster and Matthew Stafford is definitely no slouch. It's definitely a good, 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 good uh, quarterback. So definitely um, looking to utilize my weapons. Going against the Eagles, they have a tremendous passing defense. You know, Asamoa and Cromartie, they have, they play tight man to man. So uh, definitely looking for, um, uh, what's his name? Megatron to go ahead and get loose. And uh, we start out with something basic. You know, we want to see what his, what his offense is all about. So we just call a regular two-man under. I definitely need a spy in case Vic tries to run out of the pocket. You know how that goes. And uh, immediately, you know, he calls a screenplay. And he definitely catches me off guard. Uh, something I wasn't expecting. And he gets good yardage on that. You know, the screenplay is something that, you know, can be hit or miss. You know, you can lose six yards on it. You can score a touchdown with it. And that right there was completely my fault. As you guys know, I like to... Uh, zone around the middle so I definitely wasn't paying attention to that but with Vic on the field I feel like I always have to have a spy at all times um, so you know I'm playing man-to-man -man defense and uh, he tries to do a run play but we pretty much stopped that short and the Lions have tough tough uh, inside run defense due to the fact that Ndamukong Sue is an absolute shed blocking beast where you know he clogs up that middle very very well so running up the middle is going to be tough now, second and eight, I'm preparing for the pass. And, but, you know, I still like my man to man. You know, I, I do my shades because I like everybody to be covered. And um, I just cover my middle. I got my QB spy in case he wants to head out of the pocket. And um, he gets us with another run. But as I said, you see Sue right there just clogging up the middle, allowing uh, Tulak to go ahead and get the tackle. And third and seven, now I'm pretty much 100% expecting the pass. So what we do is we go ahead. And we uh, call the, the DB strike from the quarters formation. Put that right blitzer on a spy. And we're going to zone our middle, see if we got anything going. And he backs up. And I'm sorry, son. Don't test the user. He's so disrespectful. Somebody, please, give this, this man a link to my channel. His gamer tag is in the beginning of this video. Let him know. Do not throw the ball my way. So our very first possession, we're going to try the screen, and we put him on a blue route. That right there is the most effective way to go ahead and get the screen going. Uh, thanks to Monster Chappie, who went ahead and uh, posted that on his channel. And uh, we end up executing it perfectly and scoring a touchdown off of it. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. We end up wiggling all our way into the end zone because I got touchdowns to score a son. So we do a couple wiggles and we end there. And that right there, in case you guys didn't know, Monster Chappie has... Uh, figured out as he would say the Krabby Patty to the screen play uh, You hot route the running back to a blue route, which is a delay route as soon as you hike it You roll over towards the opposite Sideline so if the screen is going towards the right you simply hold the controller down in about an eight o'clock position Once he breaks free the linemen are already in position and that's exactly what I did that executed that there so his first possession we end up uh, catching an interception so um what we want to do is we want to get him out of the running game. You know, we want him to feel like he's forced to pass the ball. LaShawn McCoy is an absolute monstrous weapon. So, so far, so good. We've stopped this couple of attempts, and we want to get him out of the running mindset. But again, as you see, we got man-to-man. -man. Uh, we got a purple towards the outside, also a QB spy. Um, you definitely got to keep up with Vic. And right there, he draws back, and another interception. No soup for you! And that is why the playbook from quarters can be so deadly you can send pressure but you have a lot of d-backs on the field who can go ahead and read the ball well and make interceptions such as that so that puts me in great field position so what i want to do is from here i want to look to get megatron involved in, and i want to get him on some type of post or streak something towards the outside so i look at the mesh and we got him on a deep post and if i find separation right before he makes his cut i'm gonna go ahead and throw a bullet pass and that's exactly what happens. We end up finding separation because Megatron is such an excellent route runner. He breaks the route beautifully. 
Matthew Stafford puts it on point and we score again. In a matter of seconds, within a snap of a finger, we are up 14 to 0. Thanks heavily due to our defense with back to back interceptions and being able to score, you know, basically on two home run plays. And, you know, that's what makes the Lions so deadly. They have such speed on their field with uh, Johnson and Best, not to mention the other receivers that they have. And this team, if, if used well, man, can be very, very tough to stop, very, very deadly. So now I feel like he pretty much has no room to run whatsoever. You know, I, I feel like he's going to pass. So we go back to the DB strike. You know, uh, we crash to the left. We are left. Uh, we got all on the end. We re-blitz and we show blitz. You know, that right there. Um, it, it works about like 15% of the time, but um, you can't create outside pressure with that. Uh, right there, quick pass to the right to McCoy. Ends up getting nothing. And again, I just basically need to prepare myself for the pass. So... The guys on the far out, I really always I always put them shade towards the inside because um, the outside there's really not much room. So if you look at Macklin and Jackson, those they're far far out. I always shade to the inside. I mean, there's really not that much room to go towards an outside outside route due to the fact that they're already on the outside. Now right here he has uh, some time in the pocket, but he ends up throwing an incompletion. And again, you know, we're doing the same thing. We know he's going to pass the ball, so we give ourselves the best option to stop him out of the quarters. And you always want to prepare yourself for somebody like Vic. you got to have a spy just in case he wants to run out of the pocket. Uh, right there, he attempts the screenplay. Thankfully, we shut that down. That right there could have been huge, but our defender with good awareness ends up running over there and stopping it. And um, at this point, we feel like Game can't be over if he punts us the ball, and that's exactly what he does. You know, he punts us the ball, giving us another opportunity to go ahead and score. And being up 21 to 0, I, I really strongly feel that I'm not going to be beaten at that point. It's just too big of a gap. I, I am a douchebag when I get a lead. I am going to kill the clock on you. So I'm, I'm a, not giving you many opportunities to go ahead and come back on me if I have a lead like that. Now, don't get me wrong, I've blown plenty of leads in my lifetime, but. I definitely feel at any point, if I'm up 21 on anybody, you know, they're, they're not coming back because I'm just going to hold the ball as long as possible to kill some clock. So, you know, we're not really running the ball just due to the fact that the Lions have an excellent passing offense and Calvin Johnson takes up such a big focal point of the offense. He, you know, I know for a fact that he's watching them. You know, he's going to try his best to stop them. So that can give me options to stop um, throw towards anybody else. But I notice one-on-one -on -one coverage, so I go over the top. And three offensive plays, three touchdowns, just back to back to back. Boom, 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 bang, bang, bang. Just, you know, just like that. Three plays, three touchdowns. And I recognize the one-on-one. -on -one, and I feel like Johnson's going to win that matchup with any cornerback. They don't have the height to match up with him. They do have the speed to, you know, run um, stride for stride with him. But he is going to jump and attack the ball at his highest point, And I felt like he was going to come down with it. But on that one, he just broke away with the speed and he ended up just outrunning the cornerback. So we're up 21 to 0. And again, we're going back to the uh, the quarter defense, the DB strike. Show blitz, crash left, last guy on the left, re-blitz down, put um, the guy on either a purple or a spy. I usually do um, a spy. So we got Vic contained right here. Right here was a nice pass. And thankfully, we end up uh, getting Jackson because that right there could have easily been a touchdown. He's so fast. You know, we definitely got to be able to contain him. And, you know, um, he, he's starting to get a little bit of confidence. You can tell with a nice big game like that, you know, your confidence starts to get a little better. And we don't want that. You know, we don't want him to gain any confidence whatsoever. You know, we want him to feel like he has no chance in this ball game. So, you know, making him one-dimensional is key to my game plan at all times. I want to be able to make you... Just do one thing, whether it's run or it's pass. Give me, you know, an opportunity of knowing what it is you're going to do to make it easier on me to stop you. Now, right here, he comes out in a, in a running formation, but it's a play action. I end up manually going around. I kind of fell for the play action, but I wasn't positioned to go around. And we end up hitting Vic just before he releases the ball. And um, it's an incomplete pass, so... Uh, definitely got lucky on that. I don't even know who could have been open because I left my area thinking that it was a run. Now, right here, I'm doing my shades inside, outside, you know, preparing myself for what type of routes he could possibly be running. 
you know, trying to protect the middle myself. And uh, he goes over towards the left, but nothing. So we get it to a fourth down. Now he is in, uh, I want to say, field goal range. But, you know, at this point, 3 to 21 really isn't going to help him too much. Especially the confidence he's got to have on defense has to be wah, 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 very down. You know, being up uh, 21 to 0 and scoring on only three plays, I think definitely he feels like he has to score a touchdown if he's going to score at this point. So we call the same defense as he's been pretty much having trouble with. Right here was such luck, man. He, he's running around. He reroutes him and he gets it and he just makes the first down. And I was raging just a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I can't believe that that right there happened. So this right here is going to be the last play before half. And again, you know, he's forced to pass the ball due to the, the type of aggression we have on offense and the, the way that we were able to score. We're making very, very one-dimensional. And that makes it, you know, uh, so much easier on us. Well, that wasn't the last play I have, but it makes it so much easier on me due to the fact that I can just sit out in quarters put my best pass defenders in coverage, you know, try to get some outside pressure and let them do work for me. You know, I play a lot of man to man because I love to, you know, cover the middle and know that every receiver is accounted for. So that's why I love playing man to man. I try to blitz right there. We get nothing. Uh, well, I don't, but we end up getting a huge sack and um, now it's third and long and that's exactly what quarters defense man can do. You know, obviously, he has great receivers, but man to man, my guys are going to keep up with him for the first couple seconds, giving him the illusion that everybody is covered long enough for us to get the sack, and that's what happened. So third and long again. And we know he pretty much has to go deep, so we try to run around the outside. Boy, do we miss that user sack right there, but we get him to throw a really, really bad throw. And uh, he ends up rage quitting after this. Why? I don't know. He had a fourth down. He didn't even try to go for it. But he ends up quitting. And we end up winning the game. You know, um, try to give you guys a little bit of insight on why it is I do some things here. So I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Um, look, as always, look forward to great Madden content coming out. And um, yeah, man, we were excited to come up with this win. I really don't understand why he quit. You know, I will understand if he went for it on fourth and he didn't get it and he felt like he was outmatched. But having the ball with an opportunity to make something happen, the race quit, I, I don't know. I could never figure it out. But, um, you know, we put in work. We had three offensive plays, three touchdowns, and uh, we end up winning the game. So that right there, you know, just shows that speed kills. <laughs> As always, man, it's your boy, Mr. Gold Sports. Man, follow me on Twitter if you guys don't already. And I'm out. Thank you for your time. As always, peace. Give it to me, baby.